If you're looking for help for setting up Profibus between a Siemens PLC and an M700, you've come to the right place. Today, my friend's going to take us through a step-by-step -step process on how to set up a Step 7 PLC with the Unidrive M700. Before we start the video, I want to make sure that you realize that anything you learn here can also be used with other drives, not just the M700 drive. As long as the drive supports the SI Profibus module, you can use this video with your Step 7 PLC. So we're going to create a new project. And then we already have a drive that is connected to the computer with the IP address set up. So we're going to scan and add that drive. The motor data is already set up in the drive. So all we're going to show is the, the Profibus module setup. In this case, uh, this is an M700 with the SI Profibus module installed in slot number three. So if we go to the Profibus module, we can open up menu one, two, and three for the in and output mappings. These are the default values for the input and output mapping. And then from here, we have to set up the Profibus node address and set telegram selection. So we're going to set that to auto, meaning that the PLC is going to tell the, the drive uh, the input and output mappings, as well as uh, data alignment and the input and output uh, amount of words that it's going to be reading and writing. In this case, we are going to set the Profibus node address to node address one. Save our parameters and then reset the Profibus interface. PLC is not set up at this time, so we can see that the uh, Profibus network diagnostics show that we're stuck in an initialization. start by creating a new project from the wizard. Select the CPU that we are using. In this case, it is the 315-2 PNDP. And you can name the CPU. In this case, we'll name it as that. Uh, we're going to include the uh, organizational block one in ladder. and then name our project. Now we need to set up the hardware configuration. So we're gonna to go to semantic station, double click hardware, and then we need to set up the Profi bus interface. So we're gonna double click on MPI DP, change the interface type to Profi bus, this is the node address of the PLC. Uh, we're going to leave that as default, and then we're going to add the network here. In this case, we can leave uh, the name as default, and then we're going to leave the transmission rate as default, and then verify that the profile is set as DP. And accept that. And then we can also verify in operating mode that we are set up as a DP master. Now that we have that set up, we need to verify that the drive GST file is installed. So we're going to go to options, install GSD file from the directory, and then we're going to select the file in this case. Because we're using a unit drive M700, we're going to select that. And then the GSC file, we're going to click install. I already have it installed, so we're not going to do that now. 
Now the GSD file is installed, we are going to add the drive onto the Profibus interface by going to additional field devices, drives, and then dragging over the Unidrive M700. Here we set up the node address of the SI Profibus module. Uh, we previously in Connect set the address to one, so we're gonna leave that. And then we're gonna make sure that it is put on uh, the network that we have created here. Here we can see the node address in parentheses of the drive. And now we wanna add the, the configuration for reading and writing. In this setup, we're going to use four input words, standard consistency, and four output words, standard consistency. And drag those over. Uh, notice the input address starting at 256 to 263 and the output address of the right, uh, 256 to 263. So we could change those addresses if we want, but the defaults work uh, for now. We're going to go into parameter assignment, and this is where we set up the parameters that we're going to read and write. So it's important to set double word to enable, as the drive parameters range from bits up to 32 bits. So enabling this reads and writes every drive parameter as a 32-bit value, regardless of the size of the drive parameter. But because of that, we're only able to use half of the reads and writes. So for four input, we're only able to read two parameters. So in this case, we're going to read drive parameter 18, 11, and 18, 12. If we wanted to read from an option module, you can select the drop down and then select the option module. And you also need to verify that you leave uh, no spaces between the reads and writes, uh, just leave the empty spaces at the bottom. So now we're going to set up our outputs again. Default address is fine. Set up double word enabled. And then we're going to write to drive 1813 and 1814. Now we also want to verify that our uh, connection to the PC is set up. So we're going to set that up here. In this case, the default IP address of the PLC uh, will work. And then finally, we want to set up the uh, password protection in the PLC. In this case, we are going to use no protection. Uh, now that this is completed, we can save it and compile it and then close, and then we're going to move to OB1 and actually write the code to uh, read and write. So we're going to have two networks, one to read and one to write. And so if we notice back in the hardware setup or our reads and writes these are in the process image of the drive so you access that by pi for input and pq for output starting at address 256 each so we're going to go back to our code we're going to move process image input double word Add the second address. And as they are double words, it is uh, moved four bytes from the initial. So we started at 256. Uh, the next address starts at 260. And now we're going to do the same for writing. So we're going to write a value from MD8 to process image output for PQ. Double word, starting with 256. And the 
12 to process output double 260. And save that and close it. And now we need to set up our connection to the uh, PLC. So we're going to go to options, set PG PC interface. From here, you're going to select the network adapter on your PC uh, that is connected to the PLC. OK. And from here, we can see down in the bottom that uh, we are going to be using that network adapter. And from here, download to the PLC. And the PLC is now set up. To monitor the data that we are uh, reading and writing, we can create a variable table. We'll just leave the, the default name. And if you remember, we were reading into address MD0, MD4, and then writing the values of MD8 and MD12 into the drive. So we're going to watch those values in the variable table. MD0. We're going to change the display format by right clicking and selecting decimal and also shift click to modify multiple at a time. We're going to save that variable table, and then we're going to start watching. So notice our PLC is in stop mode. So we are going to uh, move the switch on the PLC to run. You can see that the PLC is running. Uh, we are monitoring uh, these values. So if we go back to connect, uh, the drive has been set up automatically in the PLC because we had the telegram selection set to auto. Uh, the Profibus address was previously set to one and the drive automatically set the number of input and output words to four. You can also verify the input mapping is set to 18, 11, and 12. And the output mapping is set to 18 and, or 1813 and 1814, which we had set up in the PLC. We also see that data is being exchanged uh, and the network is OK, which indicates that communication is functioning. So if we go to menu 18 and we pull up the variable table that we had created, we can see that uh, the values 10 and 9 are reading into the proper addresses and we are writing these values into 18, 13, and 1814. So if I were to modify these values, activate modify value, you can see that the values update in the drive, what we wrote. And if we change the values in 1811 and 12, variable table, we can see that the values that are being read match what we wrote in the drive. So this shows the setup to get communications, uh, Profibus cyclic communication set up between the M700 and the S7300 Siemens PLC. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video or you found it useful, please subscribe or share it with somebody. And I'll see you next time.